before us, billions of years ago, were the minor metals. They were key to evolution, our solar system, our planet, and our biology. The grand story of the cosmos could not have been written without them. The arc of humanity's future also relies heavily upon these key materials. Come with me as we explore how minor metals enable exploration and the study of key phenomena. Learn how minor metals might protect us in the vastness of space and how minor metals themselves will be mined in space. This year is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing. We have work to do to achieve such heights again, and minor metals will get us there. Major Progress in Asteroid Mining Asteroids, the small celestial bodies strewn across our solar system, can be valuable. In fact, scientists at NASA have estimated the total value of the metals in the asteroid belt at around $700 quintillion. A team of scientists at the University of Adelaide are working on perfecting an intense mineral processing technology based on continuous flow chemistry to mine these asteroids. The technology will, through solvent mixing and separation, allow rapid and more selective extraction of metals, such as nickel and cobalt, and possibly even water from these space rocks. The technology can work in zero gravity, and the concepts are already being tested in space. In May of this year, a mission was launched that included the first lab testing this new technique. With over 15,000 near-Earth asteroids alone, the cosmos is ripe for the picking. Staying healthy on long space voyages. On Earth, we live in a bubble, a protective blanket of magnetism and air that shields us from harmful radiation, specifically cosmic rays. Astronauts on space voyages, though, will have no such cover. They may receive 700 times the radiation doses experienced by Earth-bound humans, increasing cancer risk, internal organ damage, and early onset cataracts. A team of experts are working with the European Space Agency to find ways to protect human health during voyages to the moon and the rest of the solar system. Using five particle accelerators, they are accessing the effects of radiation on biological cells and various materials. The minor metal lithium has emerged as a possible shielding material for planetary missions. Under Pressure How can you simulate apocalypse? A new, extremely fast detector empowers scientists to study the effects of extreme high-pressure events such as asteroid impacts and earthquakes. A wide group of researchers from Lawrence Livermore, the German Research Institute DESI, Oxford University, and others use newly developed gallium arsenide cameras that are highly sensitive and can detect events that happen in fractions of a second but generate terapascals of pressure. Through this new camera, scientists are now able to study changes in physical properties of materials under high pressure. Minor metals are everywhere. Our planet is merely one among trillions upon trillions of planets in the universe. Since the 1990s, humankind has discovered just 3,000 exoplanets. What we have found, though, has been astonishing. Take Kelt 9b, 650 light years away. It's an inhospitable world not one that future spacefaring humans would like to visit for vacation. Its atmosphere reaches 4,000 degrees centigrade, and its orbit is very close to a star, which is twice as hot as our own sun. Scientists at the University of Bern and the University of Geneva, though, have discovered the presence of minor metals in Kelp 9 bs atmosphere. Traces of chromium, titanium, magnesium, 
and other metals have been found. This is yet another example of how minor metals abound across the universe. A life-giving gift from the outer solar system. Lucky things happen in threes. Research done at the University of Munster is an example of this maxim due to the confirmation of an astounding theory. Earth is unique due to its water and the presence of an axis-stabilizing moon. Many theories on how the Earth received both have been put forth. Planetologists, though, have shown that the moon was formed billions of years ago when the infant Earth collided with a large outer solar system object called Theia. Theia also delivered large quantities of water to early Earth, the beginnings of our oceans. Not only was water brought to Earth, but also large amounts of molybdenum that now reside in the Earth's mantle and are accessible through mining. The molybdenum Earth had at its birth was drawn to its core and can't be mined as of yet. So the moon, water, and molybdenum all happened due to a gift from a distant visitor. Humanity has shown itself capable of so much more. Yes, we can be petty, short-sighted, without empathy, and even self-destructive. But this is not our natural state, for if so, we would have never have evolved. We would have never have stretched out into the vast cosmic sea. We would have never had such promise and destiny. It is our destiny to explore and grow beyond these bounds of Earth. Day by day, we have greater means and greater tools to fulfill that destiny. Thanks to Minor Metals. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Kevin Pritchett. Through my experiences in technology and mining, I am fascinated by how crucial metals are to our daily lives and our future. I want to share that excitement I have with such a critical industry. We would not have computers, smartphones, televisions, automobiles, advanced medical technology, renewable energy, or many of our other modern conveniences without metals and mining. Mining is a global industry that is cognizant of its impact on communities and forward-looking in terms of the environment and sustainability. I am proud to be a part of it. And I hope you like, share, and comment on this video and other videos I have produced. Also, check out my podcast and blog at moonshotexec.com. Thanks for watching.